We should now be familiar with the Data Protection Act principles, and what we're going to do is look at them in a bit more detail to hopefully develop our understanding. I will be referring to something called the data subject. Now what the data subject is, is simply a person that has information held by an organisation about them. Principle 1. Data should be processed fairly and lawfully. When data is processed by an organisation, it should adhere to existing confidentiality laws. It should also be made very clear to the data subject that the data is being processed, but more importantly, why it is being processed. Principle 2. Data should only ever be collected for a specific purpose. An organisation must have a very specific purpose for collecting data and it must then only be used for that stated purpose and for no other reason. Principle 3. Data should be relative and not excessive. An organisation should only collect the necessary data for the specified purpose. No more and no less. For example, a supermarket trying to find out about customers' shopping trends don't need to know any kind of information such as medical information or financial information as it has no relevance. Principle 4. Data should be accurate and kept up to date. If data held about a data subject isn't accurate or up to date, it could cause inconvenience or distress. For example, if a company holds the wrong contact details for a customer, the data subject, and there's a problem with an order that they've processed, they can't be contacted and that can be a real inconvenience to the customer. Principle 5. Data should not be kept any longer than is necessary. Once data has served its purpose, it should be deleted immediately. For example, a school should delete any information that they hold on a student as soon as they leave the school, because they simply don't need it anymore as it served its purpose. Principle 6. Data should be processed in accordance with the rights of the data subject. This relates to the first principle in that the data subject has rights such as confidentiality of their data meaning the very personal information such as medical history, criminal records, should be kept confidential and not passed outside the organisation. Principle 7. Data should be kept secure. I know this is an obvious one, but data should be held in a secure location with security measures in place, such as usernames and passwords to be able to access data. This is very similar to schools, how we hold information about each student that could be confidential. So only the staff are able to access it by using uh, passwords and usernames. Principle 8. Data should not be transferred outside the EU unless they have the same data protection laws. So any country in the EU has to adhere to the Data Protection Act. But if data was transferred to another country where they didn't have the same data protection laws, the data could be misused or used for illegal reasons.